Hello Internet, it's me Hewlett on my Tuscan holiday and what am I thinking about? Of course, computer programming because I've been watching the kids here, both my child and, and the kids that we're, we're spending our, our, uh, our days with here, and they are totally into gaming. Absolutely all about Minecraft and Clash of the Clans and all these different things here. I'm sweating because it's just beautiful here. Um, and I'm supposed to be on holiday. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I, I'm doing it anyways because I got excited. This is how I holiday, basically. This is how I holiday by sort of obsessing and freaking out about these sort of things. But I, I suddenly had this like epiphany where it's the perfect recruitment for kids. You suck them in with the games like Minecraft, which are intelligent games under themselves and can be, you know, the, there's, there's all about building and engineering and, and, and even some coding with the, with the whole Redstone stuff. But basically you suck them in with that and then get them interested in making their own games. And I've seen this in action because our friend who's here uh, works for a big, big company down in LA that does some amazing games. Um, but he's doing a little coding on the side, doing his own stuff and um, some, some hobby type stuff. The kids are like hanging all over him asking what does that do and how does that work and what are you doing with this game and it's he's building a game and they're fascinated by how it's built so i thought we gotta we gotta jump on this like we got the perfect recruitment brainwashing way in um to these to these kids lives like they could be all they could all turn into the next you know notch or whatever the guys who, who created who created minecraft because because they're so fascinated with it and they want to change it and they want to learn all the minutia of how the program works and stuff. And I thought, what a fantastic way in. So I asked my friend about this. He suggested a program called Scratch as a good, simple way to start. But I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it out to you guys. So comment below. Let me know if there's any you know, smart ways you see of getting kids into programming. Because um, it's boys, it's girls, it's everybody. They're, I mean, me as well, because nerds like me. But for nerds like me, it sort of makes sense that I'm going to be into it. But I, I just, I see this potential of sort of transitioning the kids away from just playing the games into actually creating them. And this led me to think about something else, because of course I'm holidaying, so I'm taking it easy. Fanatical needs a fanatic cares, basically. It needs a section that is about this planet. <laughs> I'm looking after this planet and the people on it and, and getting this wonderful sphere right. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a supporter of, of the Sea Shepherds. I'm a big supporter of uh, Doctors Without Borders, who I absolutely love. Um, uh, but I think we should do a fanatic care section here, because so many people I talk to are interested in this stuff and want to know how to help. Um, so let's get it out there. Let's do some of this stuff ourselves. Um, kind of like the programming. You know, how do we get people into, into, into treating this world as, a, as the planet it is, rather than the little tiny chunks that we're fighting over? And um, so I want to, two things then. So fanatic cares and how to get kids from the transition children from their obsessive love of games like Minecraft into the actual programming. How do we get them actually getting in there and dirty with the Java stuff and um, any other programming languages that are out there? So comment below, let me know, and uh, until we geek again, which I'm not supposed to be geeking now because I'm supposed to be on holiday, but until we geek again, perhaps on my return to England, I'll stop talking now. Cheerio!